Let me start recording. Yo, 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 yo. Okay, let us begin. Shout out to TTV. <laughs> really, that's gonna be on Twitter, on on um on YouTube. <laughs> so the video of today, 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 today is a a video I hold um high in my heart because it comes up over and over again, and we're covering today movement, what it is and what it isn't. Now, in Dragon Ball Z, when a lot of players start, they're seeing players fly across the screen, do all of this stuff. And you're like, oh, wow, I need to be doing all of these things. So that's what a lot of players are, are, are thinking when they see. Now, movement is not super jumping for no reason. It's not super jumping for no reason. It is not doing this moon jump thing. It is not doing that and just jumping in. Because moving more isn't the same or is not equal to you should have movement. Just because you're moving more doesn't mean um, you need to have movement. Because awareness, movement without awareness is pointless. I'll repeat that again. Moving around like this, for no reason, is pointless. Genuinely pointless, especially in Dragon Ball Z. I'm not speaking in other games. Now, if I had to break down what movement is into a, into a sentence, which I use or I believe, I, I, I would call it it's deliberate action or tools you use to engage or disengage from a zone or how you interact inside of specific zones. I hope you all got that. Now... If I broke down movement into three core areas, I spoke about zones, advantage, and awareness. So we break that down again. A zone would be a positioning on the screen. So for, for argument's sake in Dragon Ball Z, you have close range, mid range, or round start, and then you have far. So you have close, medium, far, or whatever you want to call it. LMH, you can call it whatever you want to. You have far range, mid range, close range, right? So these are the zones in which characters occupy. So as I talked about, about is there a deliberate action or tools you use to engage or disengage from a zone? So the purpose of movement is to engage in one of these three spaces. So you saw that I can dash to get into one range. I can jump to get into one range. I can IAD back, which a lot of people see. Rojo499, thanks for the follow. I can IAD back to get into one range. I can also... Super jump float to get into, into, into one range as well. So these are, these are tools you can use to get into ranges. Now, the next one is awareness. So when people talk about movement and they're, they're moving around, they're doing all of this and their opponent just decides to do this. So people are moving around in Dragon Ball Z. This is the worst one for me. The worst one for me is this. People will decide to move around in Dragon Ball Z. They're flying around the screen. And this happens to a lot of people. A lot of people, they're moving around doing all of this and they get hit by Super Dash. So they're doing all of this. They get hit by Super Dash in the air, they're getting hit. So why were you moving in the first place? What was your purpose of moving? Again, this is all about awareness. So while you're moving in a zone, if you combine that with awareness, what am I looking for when I'm at this range? Versus Captain Ginyu, he has many moves. So let's pick an easier option. Like versus Gohan. Gohan at this far range. If I'm at this far range, Gohan, all he has to interact with me is this move, this move, and this move. But if I'm moving around and jumping around on the screen, not looking out to stop those three things, like here, look, if I'm doing this and I and I and all of this and I'm getting hit, what why am I moving for? What am I aware of? So I, I know the zone I'm playing, I'm playing at far range, but what can Gohan do? So awareness is knowing what options your char a character has in a specific zone. So from this range, Gohan can do 5S, Masenko, whatever, any other move, and he can also super dash. So if I know that at this range, even if I'm doing all this jumping stuff in the air, if Gohan was to then act out on that super dash, let me do it again. Oh, I'm right there, I, from holding down back, I'm ready for all those three options and I'm ready to punish because I disengaged from mid range to go back. Cause I, I said to myself, close range, the super dash might be too hard to, the super dash might be too hard for me to react to. So I disengaged so I can engage from a further range. So again, this is, I, I combined a zone and the, and, and awareness. Now the third one that I talked about is advantage. Now, what advantage do I have where, where if I'm blue Goku from here? I don't have, I only have 5S, but that can be super dashed. 
I have shoulder that goes through um, five S's, but these don't really travel full screen. All I have are really slow moves that really get me in. But apart from that, I don't really have much advantage, um, safe advantage. Whereas Gohan, for instance, Gohan at least has, Gohan can 5S me if I'm standing. Gohan does have Masenko, so that's something I have to think about. So, so with no meter, I, at this moment versus adult Gohan, funnily enough, I'm at a disadvantage. So what do I want to do? I want to move into ranges where, where I have more of an advantage. So if I'm Blue Goku versus Gohan here, I implement techniques such as dash block, which I talked about in my other video. So I'll dash block here to get closer towards Gohan. Where does that put me? That puts me in the mid range. Here as Blue Goku, here that round start range, all my tools hit Gohan now. So all these tools now are actually more, hey, I'm C4, it's calling for YouTube. So all these tools are, are easier to hit Gohan. I have, a, I have a 2M with fantastic range. So now I'm at more of an advantage than I was when I was up close. And, all, and even more specifically, if we move into the close range, yes, Gohan has many tools, but I also have a command grab. So I'm even stronger in the close range. Whereas Gohan, close range, all of Gohan's options, like bar crossing up, Gohan doesn't have as much advantage as me in that regard. So if we're in a close range combat, I have an option that Gohan can't block. Whereas all of Gohan's options require me to either block left or right. Whereas my option is an unblockable option. So I have more of an advantage here. So me as Blue Goku versus Gohan, I'm not going to face him here because this is the zone. So I'm not going to face him at this far zone or even at mid range. My goal is I want to get here closer. So how do I do that? Now you get into the moving around. What's the fastest way for me to move from, from far range to close? Yes, I can super dash. Does it have risk? It has a, a ton of risk. Or I could jump and float towards that range while holding back. These are many things. So if you jump, super jump, I can float and it puts me into that range. I could do that too. But again, that leaves me jumping in the air without pressing any buttons. So then my opponent can probably jump the army. So while I'm doing all, all these fantastic movements, my opponent just decides to do the most galactic brain DR. Pro play. My opponent decided to do the most galactic brain DR. I'm not ready for that. While I, while I was all floating around, my opponent decides to go from decides to the army. I'm not ready for, for, the, for those options. But this is how you can move. This is how you can extrapolate movement and add it onto to awareness, advantage, and working within a zone. So now with Blue Goku, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna, I can use dash block here. I can, when I'm this close, I can IED back to gain some space. And when Gohan doing his advantageous moves, I can jump in. So this way I'm moving with a, a bit more purpose. So again, just to repeat to everyone, this is actually, this is a very short video. It's really, really simple. If you watch my case studies, I talk about this as well. So if you want to talk about what your character has advantage and disadvantage or how great they are in each zone, you can check out my um, case studies for each individual character where I explain why, where, why, what, where Blue Goku greatly benefits and what assists help them to get into that zone. So that's what assists really do to help them. Um, so you can use, using assists as well, you can compile this with movement and advantage and use to advantage. Use it to advantage. <laughs> use your advantage to advantage, funny. So again, to repeat, it's deliberate action or tools you use to engage or disengage from a zone. So that's far, mid-range and far. I mean, no, close, mid-range and far and how you interact inside of these zones. That is, if you combine those autos together, that's what gives you movement. And again, movement is extrapolated to your awareness of, of, of what's going on in that, what you're looking out for. Advantage, as in if you're negative or positive or your character has advantage and zones as in the, the spaces you occupy. Now, <laughs> it will be a daddy if I was YouTube. I'll be a YouTuber soon. So, if you if you thinking about that again, if you're getting hit by super dashes full screen, if this is happening to you while you're moving around, if this is happening to you and you're just flying around and you're getting hit, your movement is bad, or because you're not aware of what's going on. You need to you need to be moving with purpose. Even if this happens, you're in a very good place. Or if this happens because you're not ready for the two H, you're at least thinking about the movement. That is. And as you get better, you can grow your awareness. So specifically on awareness, as you get better at playing Dragon Ball Z, you can look out for more things. Right now, I can look out for 2H, but
But am I ready for Gohan's Masenko at the same time? And this, maybe I'm not. I can practice looking out for two things. But don't start with looking out for five things. Gohan's this, this, this. Start off with small chunks, one thing at a time and build from there. That's how you can build your, looking out for your awareness. Advantage, again, you can look at my case studies. And zones, again, it's simple, one, two, and three. But yeah, I hope that helps everyone. Simple video, nice and clean. Um, no more. <laughs> again, as C4 just said, moving without purpose is pointless. <laughs> it's not neutral, it's, just, it's all lies. It's all lies. But I don't do that like and subscribe stuff. <laughs> I don't do like and subscribe, but if you like the video, you know what to do. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.